The Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies F&ES is a professional school of Yale University. It was founded to train foresters and now trains environmental leaders through four two-year degree programs: Master of Environmental Management, Master of Environmental Science, Master of Forestry, and Master of Forest Science, and two 10-month mid-career programs. Yale F&ES strives to create new knowledge that will sustain and restore the health of the biosphere and emphasizes the possibility of creating a regenerative coexistence between humans and non-human life and the rest of the natural world. Still offering forestry instruction, the school has the oldest graduate forestry program in the United States. Topic history The school was founded in 1900 as the Yale Forest School, to provide high-level forestry training suited to American conditions. At the urging of Yale alumnus Gifford Pinchot, his parents endowed the two-year postgraduate program. At the time Pinchot was serving as Bernard Furneaux's successor as Chief of the Division of Forestry predecessor of the U.S. Forest Service, USFS. Pinchot released two foresters from the division to start the school, fellow Yale graduate Henry Solon Graves and James Toomey. Graves became the school's first dean and Toomey its second. When the school opened, other places in the United States offered forestry training, but none had a postgraduate program. Both Pinchot and Graves had gone to Europe to study forestry after graduating from Yale. In the fall of 1900, the New York State College of Forestry at Cornell had 24 students, Biltmore Forest School 9, and Yale 7. Despite its small size, from its beginnings the school influenced American forestry. The first two chiefs of the USFS were Pinchot and Graves, the next three were graduates from the school's first decade. Wilderness and land conservation advocate Aldo Leopold graduated in the class of 1908. In 1915, Yale School of Forestry's second dean, James Toomey, became one of the charter members, along with William L. Bray of the New York State College of Forestry, by then re-established at Syracuse University, and Raphael Zahn, of the Ecological Society of America. In 1950, the activist wing of that society formed the Nature Conservancy. Besides the school's own forests, Yale has used a number of other sites in the eastern United States for field education over the years. From 1904 to 1926, the summer session leading to a master's degree in forestry was held at Gray Towers and Foresters Hall in Milford, Pennsylvania. Beginning in 1912, Yale classes took occasional field trips to the land of the Crossett Lumber Company in Arkansas. For two decades from 1946 until 1966, the company provided the school a camp, including cabins and a mess hall, used during spring coursework on forest management and wood products production. Yale students have also used a field camp at the Great Mountain Forest in northwestern Connecticut since 1941. Reflective of the expanding variety of environmental interests, the school changed its name to the Yale School of Forestry and Environmental Studies in 1972. Today, F&ES is a leader in global sustainability, hosting the biannual Yale Environmental Sustainability Summit to assemble thought leaders from around the globe. The school's 16th and present dean is Ingrid Indy Burke, who replaced Sir Peter Crane in October, 2016. Topic school buildings The school offers classes at Croon Hall, Sage Hall, Greeley Labs, Marsh Hall, the Environmental Science Center, the houses at 301 Prospect Street and 380 Edwards Street, and teaches the Yale College undergraduate courses needed for the Environmental Studies major. Croon Hall, the school's main building, is named for the philanthropist Richard Croon, Yale class of 1964. The building has 50,000 square feet 5, square meters of space. It is a showcase of the latest developments in green building technology, a healthy and supportive environment for work and study, and a beautiful building that actively connects students, faculty, staff, and visitors with the natural world. The building obtained platinum rating under the LEED certification system. It is designed by Hopkins Architects of London with architect of record center brick architects and planners. Goodfellow Inc. from Delson, Quebec, supplied the Glulam roof structure for this project.
Topic centers and programs Yale Institute for Biospheric Studies Center for Business and the Environment at Yale Center for Environmental Law and Policy Center for Green Chemistry and Green Engineering at Yale Center for Industrial Ecology Global Institute of Sustainable Forestry Hickson Center for Urban Ecology Tropical Resources Institute The Yale Program on Climate Communication Urban Resources Initiative The Forest Dialogue Governance, Environment and Markets Initiative High Plains Stewardship Initiative UCROSS, Environmental Leadership and Training Initiative Initiative Yale Climate Connections. Topic: School Forest. The school owns and manages 10,880 acres (44 square kilometers) of forestland in Connecticut, New Hampshire, and Vermont. The Yale Myers Forest, in Union, Connecticut, donated to Yale in 1930 by alumnus George Hewitt Myers, is managed by the school as a multiple-use working forest. Yale Toomey Forest, near Keene, New Hampshire, was set up by James W. Toomey a former dean of the school in 1913. Other Yale forestlands include Goss Woods, Crowell Forest, Crosswoods, Bowen Forest, and Crowell Ravine. A three-alarm fire burned several buildings within the Yale Myers Forest Camp on May 28, 2016. Rebuilding efforts are ongoing. Topic student life The school has an active tradition of student involvement in academic and extracurricular life. Many students take part in student interest groups, which organize events around environmental issues of interest to them. These groups range in interest from conservation finance and international development, to the built environment and fresh and salty, the Society for Marine and Coastal Systems. There are also social and recreational groups, such as the Forestry Club, which every Friday organizes themed TGIF, Thank God I'm a Forester, Happy Hours and School Parties, the Polar Bear Club, which swims monthly in Long Island Sound under the full moon, year-round, Veggie Dinner, which is a weekly vegetarian dinner club, the Logarithms, an a cappella singing group, and the student-run BYO Cafe in Croon Hall opened in 2010. A notable F&ES tradition is the extravagant environmentally inspired decoration of graduation caps in preparation for commencement. Topic: Notable graduates. Alphonse Buddy Fletcher Jr., class of 2004. Francis Beinecke, President, Natural Resources Defense Council, Member, National Commission on the BP Deepwater Horizon Oil Spill and Offshore Drilling, 2010 Richard M. Brett, Conservationist Ian Cheney, Emmy-nominated filmmaker William Wallace Covington, Regents Professor, Northern Arizona University Emmanuel Fritz, Professor known as Mr. Redwood William B. Greeley, Chief, U.S. Forest Service, 1920–1928 Stuart L. Hart, Academic Addressing Global Poverty and Economic Development, Professor Emeritus at Cornell University Philip Hoos, Author Ralph Hosmer, Pioneering Hawaiian Forester Edward M. Kennedy, Jr., 1991, Attorney and Connecticut State Senator Aldo Leopold, 1908, Conservationist and Author of A Sand County Almanac H. R. McMillan, forester and industrialist John R. McGuire, Chief, U.S. Forest Service, 1972–1979 Thornton T. Munger, pioneering U.S. Forest Service researcher, civic activist who helped create Portland, Oregon's Forest Park Mark Plotkin, ethnobotanist, explorer, and activist Robert Michael Pyle, lepidopterist and John Burroughs Medal-winning author Samuel J. Record, botanist Ferdinand A. Silcox, Chief, U.S. Forest Service, 1933–1939 David Martin Smith, Forester and Educator, Author of The Practice of Silviculture Robert Y. Stewart, Chief, U.S. Forest Service, 1928–1933